and welcome to our video. This is going to be a Q&A with Lacey Hi. and <laughs> Billy Beaver. Hi. Um, so yeah, we're just going to eat some food, talk a little bit of shit. So we've had a lot of questions from you guys um, on OnlyFans and Instagram about some of our deepest, darkest secrets. We're going to be answering some here on Instagram and the rest we're going to take off our clothes and go to our site. So make sure you guys go and head to my site and Lacey's site, the full version of us, you know, getting naked. And yeah, hope you enjoy this video. So we just got some um, nachos. We actually didn't get the lollies right. because um, we got a bit sidetracked. We did a video outside and she got a bit of anxiety, so hee <laughs> hee. So we're gonna answer a couple questions, Instagram friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have this one. Any tips or advice on how to become a big creator as a single male? Um, my tips and advice is <coughs> try and collaborate with many people as you can. Like, the more collaborations you do, the more people are going to see you. So collaborating, attending content days, um, just being really professional in your job, having a good dick is also a bonus. <laughs> but being like really professional in your job is a massive plus. What would you say? Be confident in mm -hmm. what you're gonna put out there. Um, and marketing and business skills actually come in quite handy because if you get on OnlyFans and you don't have business skills, you can't, like, people flop because they're not putting themselves out there and promoting themselves just like you would a product. So you just gotta think of OnlyFans as you're selling a product and the product is yourself. I don't really like this, but okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, just make it up. It looks like cat food. Also, you, me, Jolene, Kiki, threesome content, literal genes of me, Keen. Um, I don't know if Jolene makes content, but definitely, definitely down to suss that out for sure. Who is that? It's my friend. Okay. <laughs> is it hard to have sex with someone you aren't exactly attracted to? Yeah, for me, um, I don't really have sex with lots of people that I'm not attracted to. Most of my content is filmed with... Um, if there is a guy in it, is filmed with I like a guy that I'm seeing or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm a bit different. Billy's. What are you saying? No, I'm not saying anything. Billy, how do we explain this? Well, yeah, I don't have sex with people. I, if I someone, Maybe if you're I find someone, to them all. if I find someone repulsive, and I'm no. not attracted <laughs> to them, I'm not gonna just go. Oh yeah, I'm in contact with you. I don't know it's so. I think I just emotionally disconnect from. It's just, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a hard one to explain. How long have you had OnlyFans for? I have been doing OnlyFans since February 2019, so over two years now. Mm. Yeah, so just over two years. I'm an OnlyFans baby, so I've had it for maybe five months, I think. Did you get that in your mouth, or? <laughs> <laughs> five yeah. months? Yeah, about five months, mm. yeah. Okay, when making content, do you ever not want to get with someone by, but do it because it's your job? I haven't really done a lot of content with other people, so mm. I can't really answer that. Mine's more um, content with me. I don't yeah. know, that's my niche, I guess. Did you ever work at a strip club? If so, why did you stop? I've never worked at a strip club. Um, Have you worked at a strip club? Um, actually, um, I've worked what? at Crazy Horse. No, but didn't. Th that was the one that was on top of Burden yeah, yeah, Bar, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I actually worked behind the bar, so oh. I wasn't a stripper. That's so But funny. my parents were convinced that I was a stripper. Not but funny. I was serving drinks. Not funny. Throwing them. No, it wasn't. That's funny. funny. How long have you been in the industry been in the industry for? I've been in the industry for ten years, so since I was eighteen, I'm now twenty eight, so almost eleven years now. Um, yeah. So I'm just a baby. <laughs> I've done a little bit of topless waitressing probably just over the last year um, with COVID and that. Mm. Cause so that's when you started just... Yeah, because I had to leave my job because the what kids did you do had for to work leave. Like, um, so I was a smoko truck driver. So I used to drive around to the work sites. I yeah, couldn't hey imagine. Boys, come get me pie. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard making new content to keep your fans interested and wanting more? A hundred percent. You've got to be like... Why do you, should you subscribe to my OnlyFans? Why am I different, if not better, than other content creators? What makes me special? What makes you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans? That's what's so hard. It definitely is hard thinking outside the box, coming up with consistent, creative content. Like we can all just post like a video of everyone having, like sleeping together. But like, how boring does that get over time? You've got to think outside the box. Yeah, I, I get bored of seeing the same yeah. thing over and over. So you've got to think if you're a paying fan, if they would want to pay for what they're seeing. Value so. for money. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Buy new outfits, meet new people. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you love what you do? I know I certainly love what you do. I do love what I do. If I didn't love what I do, I wouldn't do it. I don't do it because I have to. I do it because I want to. It gives me a great lifestyle. It gives me a great income. I get to be with my daughter whenever I want. I get to pick and choose my hours. I have no one telling me what to do. I get to just be me and I just like, couldn't never imagine myself working for somebody I haven't in like a very long time. I couldn't imagine working for somebody ever again. I'll always do my own thing, whether that be in the industry of the sex industry, it could be on any, you know, road, clothing, like coaching, this, this like an agency and mentoring and whatever it may be. There's so many avenues I would go down, but I definitely wouldn't work for anybody ever again. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think you really got to love what you do too to produce good <laughs> content because if you don't love it, you're going to produce shitty 100%. Yeah, so everything that Billy said, I agree with. So can a chunkier girl do OnlyFans but keep it away from family finding out? Yes, you can. Um, really? Yeah, well, I've got a muffin top. <laughs> I'm a bit chunkier. It doesn't... Um, OnlyFans is such a big... Um, you can do anything on OnlyFans. Yeah, but she's saying, can she keep it from her family? Yes, yes, yes. Because remember how I told you how I've got that secret Instagram and I target international and I put more raunchy stuff to bring subscribers in. So I've got a secret Instagram that I also run off. What? And that what was happened? Gross. What? Was it cat food? Yes. What? Oh, it's disgusting. It was like rap, rap, rap. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so I've got a secret Instagram and I run off that as well. So no one knows about that Instagram. It's all international based. I um, obviously post a little bit more raunchier content so my mum and dad can't see because they do follow me. Um, and yeah, I get subscribers from that. So yeah, you can um, jump on OnlyFans and you can not put your face in OnlyFans if that's what you want. You can, you're in control of what you put out. So it's yeah, mm. you just got to be smart about it and find ways to promote yourself without yeah. telling people who you are. But I feel like you can't really be huge, big and successful if you're trying to do it discreetly. I used to make porn back yeah. in the day, hiding my whole identity. It was my, my first ever two movies. I would change my eye colour, I'd change my hair colour, I'd wear wigs, I'd fully cover my tattoos. And I just, I was never going to get big because I was high and I never wanted anyone to know the links. Like I was very secretive. So how is it going to be shared? How is it going to be blasted? How is it going to meet new people? I just end up just going, screw it, I'm going all out. And, and I feel like people subscribe to you because they they like you as a person. And yeah. that sells more content too because they find some sort of a connection yeah. with you. I, I've always said, if your family and friends are supporting you, then they're not really your f friends and family. Because your friends and family should want to see you do something you love and enjoy what you do. And actually... They should want you to strive and be successful. Your friends shouldn't go. Your friends shouldn't want to see you fail. You know what I mean? And whether this is... Everyone's just so different. Like, it's such a fine line, but people just don't understand. But yeah. anyway, I think it's time for... Um... Not that we care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's time for us to get our clothes off because I'm getting really, really hot. Mm. So I'm going to take my clothes off oh. and... Yeah. Okay, so if you guys want to see the rest of the Q&A where we're getting a bit naughty and asking, answering some naughty questions, make sure you guys go and check the link in our bio for our OnlyFans, and we hope to see you there. Oh. <laughs>